Yes. Gun laws. Gun laws changing. Big Things changing. time, big, you know, Second Amendment, constitutional protection, right to bear arms, sort of. Yeah. But, but. Troubling. How troubling is this? Uh, in, in, in those protected lands, our national parks, where the little animals, the deer and the antelope stray <laughs> on the little grass, etc., we're now allowing uh, guns into federal parks if it's allowable in the state. Like California? Yeah. So, so I, can I can take a gun to Yosemite? You can take a, it As long as, if you don't have a, a concealed weapon permit, you can't conceal it. Right. But you can walk into, you can go into Yosemite with two six guns on your hip. Yes. And as long as they're visible in holsters, right. you would not be violating the park. Or I or could take my, my uh, Winchester, my 30 odd six. Uh, put it in the back of your, put it. Uh, sling it over my shoulder, take my shotgun, break it in half, walk in like this, and I'm, I can walk through the park like and that? And in Texas, where you can uh, conceal any weapon you want. Not everywhere. You, you, you have to show your weapon if you go into a place that serves alcohol. Very well, <laughs> um, you can go into any, are there any, well, by the way, are there any federal, federal parks in Texas? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, yeah. Some beautiful ones. As long as these federal parks are not too close to barbecue places, because I sort of wonder about these barbecue places in Austin and the, if there are any national parks around there. Longhorn. <laughs> Longhorn barbecue is the best. So, it, it, it's it's sort of amazing to me that the protected areas of where, where our only resources in terms of animals are left, um, like the safari well, parks. Well, Stephen, wait a second. If you can't shoot a deer, and you can't shoot a bear, and you can't shoot a squirrel or a pigeon or 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 a, or a, a red-tailed hawk, and you're carrying a gun, who do you shoot? You shoot. Uh, I guess the problem is if you can't drink in the national parks and you don't have fire pits in the national parks. But I could just see this being as, an, a, as a, a potential come on to lots of violence where the park rangers, you know, are understaffed anyway. And instead of pointing out the wildflowers, they'll be pointing out the wild men and women who are <laughs> running around with guns. And I just thought it was kind of an interesting situation. Oh, I'm the, what, what's the love affair this country has with guns? I, 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 don't, I don't get it exactly. Well, let's remember that it's, you know, Guns don't kill people. People kill people. So yeah, but it's pretty easy if you got a gun if you're a people. Um, well, there have been some pretty successful stabbings over the years. With the budgetary crisis going on in America, and the and the and the reductions of law enforcement in all these cities and counties, uh, and the inadequate uh, private security operations that run around. Uh, Maybe yeah. we should all bear arms. I, I don't know. I don't answer. know, but there are there are um, ways to take out your frustration. There was that maniac who uh, killed an IRS official by flying his plane into a building. And well, killed, those are trash. Those, well. those are those are trash. That's a national. That, to me, that's a a, a a home territory terrorist act. But this fellow in Cincinnati. I'm now uh, quoting from uh, Cincinnati Television WLWT. That's my favorite station. Oh, it's fantastic. Um, this fellow uh, was in a controversy with the local bank, and the bank began foreclosure proceedings. The uh, how, <clears throat> excuse me, the house was worth about three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars, and he owed one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. But the bank wouldn't let him sell it. They were going to take it. They began the foreclosure process. So he borrowed a, a bulldozer, and there is no longer a house at that site. He says, "I built that house myself, and I'm going to return it to the bank the way I found it, bare ground." He may do the same thing with his business, which is in a, a, a town nearby. Um, shot across the bow of the bank. Beware of uh, people with bulldozers. Or the person who was in front of the Toyota location uh, after the recall, and <laughs> uh, shortly thereafter, his car ended through the into the sa into the sales area. Went of through Toyota, the wall. <laughs> and his when they came up to him, he said, "What happened?" He said. Sudden acceleration. The brakes didn't work. <laughs> you know.